think there must be something wrong with me, Linus. Christmas is coming, but I'm not happy. I don't feel the way I'm supposed to feel, feel, feel. friends this is a little too high one second good morning um it is 10 30 on wednesday december 15th um what's happening today first of all i woke up on the right side of the bed today i think um i'm in a much better mood and i don't feel super like disjointed like i did yesterday anyways um Today I'm going to Buffalo Central Library with my boyfriend and we're gonna go get crepes afterwards at this really cute little creperie in Buffalo. It's actually like next to its like mother restaurant, I guess. You'll see, but um, it's really cute and it's a local Buffalo restaurant we love to support. And it's actually supposed to be pretty warm today, warm and cloudy. It's gonna be like 51 degrees. Let's see what it is right now. Right now it's 46. Um, which is nice because, um, it's frigid most of the time here. So I'm going to wear something cute and put myself together. And then I have some events happening on campus later. So I have to go to college, um, go to my college campus. And, um, then I have skate night tonight. So only good things. I am not, I th I'm going to say it right now. I'm skipping my workout today. Um, I have one written down to do, but I think I'd rather just like enjoy the day and go to skate night later. And that's a lot of movement and a lot of fun. So if all else goes to plan, then I'm not going to do that. Um, and I'm just going to skate my little heart out later and enjoy today. And that's going to be the plan. Um, let me take a sip of my coffee. I was not drinking any coffee, um, really since the semester ended, I would have a cup like every other day. I didn't have any yesterday, which I think made, might've been why I had such an off day. Could have been the caffeine, could have been my meds, could have been just like any number of things really. Oh, but later when I'm on campus, I'm actually going to be meeting with um, a dietitian on campus who does, uh, specializes in eating disorders, which is super cool. Um, we have this thing on campus called The Hub. It's like a, both a student space and a community healthcare clinic. Um, and it's a really, really cool idea. I like it a lot in there. Um, and then there's this Thrive portion that they have like an OT, a PT, a dietitian, um, and this like beautiful gym full of like rehab equipment and other exercise equipment. And there's a dietitian that works there that specializes in eating disorders. So I'm going to go meet with her later. And if there's anything interesting that comes from that meeting, I will debrief you. We were actually planning like an eating disorder support group, like movement group, um for i believe like early next year so we're gonna meet to talk about that and i think she's also gonna do some case studies with me so uh i look i'm looking forward to it i'm excited to have a slightly busier day um not that yesterday wasn't i don't even know what happened like it could have been that i didn't have enough going on that i felt so weird i don't know i'm gonna sneeze but i'm gonna go ahead and make my breakfast and i will see you soon pulled people are you guys grapefruit fans because i eat them like this, like peeled, like an orange, all the time. And currently we have tons of citrus at my house because of the fundraiser 
and my mom bought like a big box, big old box of grapefruit and I'm thriving. Like I took some back with me, obviously. It's why I have them here. But do you eat them like this? Because I am so excited right now. This is not my breakfast. This is a snack. I'm not hungry yet. This is not a breakfast. This is simply a fruit, but I'm excited. forget what you look like when you try. Like, I'm very comfortable with my face without makeup. I rarely wear it. But like, sometimes it's really nice to just sink some time in- oh, wow, the nose highlight is strong. Uh, sink some time into yourself. It was about like 15 minutes is what we came up with. I like curled the ends of my hair under. I just put a straightener on them and tried to do something. Um, because my hair just lays flat like a dead thing. Um, if I don't touch it, which I usually don't. But today, I don't know, it was nice. Um, I'm gonna try to pick out an outfit and I gotta get going. I gotta get going. I'm running a little late, so. Pals, before we get going, um, I'm about to head out of the house. Ooh, that light is not, mm, I'm having light problems. Um, i would show you what I was wearing. I'm wearing like this headband thingies and like earrings. This men's flannel from JCPenney I got on Black Friday for $10. A little like white crop top that I will throw on. Um, we'll take this off for skate night because it gets hot in there. And then I'm wearing these flare like jeans that are phenomenal. And my Converse, these are the Run Star Hikes. And I think I wear them enough that the cost per wear, I don't know if you calculate cost per wear, I don't formally, but but it's like under five bucks now, which is saying something because they're $110 shoes and I bought them like a month ago. It might be less than that. I think I've worn them way more than like 20 times. So that's cool. I'm getting a lot of use out of them. They're stupid comfortable. Um, let me see if I can give you like a better, a better view. So I guess this works. These are like a big flare though. I love them. I'm running late. Hi, my friends. It is um, quite a bit later. It's 5.56. Last we spoke, I think I was eating crepes. Um, and we didn't speak. I just threw in a clip because I was with my boyfriend and we had a nice little day date. And it was very, very nice. Um, now I'm exhausted. I just got done with that meeting uh, with the dietitian that I mentioned this morning. It went really, really well. We went through the little workout that we're going to do during our group. And she talked me through some case studies for some of her clients and stuff, which is super helpful for me as somebody who wants to be an eating disorder provider. Um, so I really appreciate uh, her taking the time to do that. But now I need to eat dinner because I have been like going, 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 
neglecting my self-care recently. I really need to eat this full meal because I'm going skating later and I also need to drink some water because I have not been drinking enough water. And I feel like every single person's vlogmas that I have watched has also not been drinking enough water. Um, I also wanna talk about what vlogmas I'm watching. So maybe I'll do a clip on that in just a bit, but I'm gonna make dinner now. I made my dinner. It's very fancy. It's um, mac and cheese with peas in it from Aldi. Um, I added peas because fiber is important, um, but I wasn't willing to put in any extra effort into my food. So I'm gonna eat this for dinner because we, we love boxed mac and cheese. We really do. All right. Hi, besties. Um, coming at you live and in person from the couch because I want to know what Vlogmas is everybody else is watching. So drop it in the comments if you are watching a Vlogmas or anybody's Vlogmas. Um, because I, I don't know. It's one of my favorite traditions um, every year. I think I kind of grew up right with the lifestyle YouTubers. We started doing it, but I watch a few specific people every single year. I've also found like a lot of really cool YouTubers through Vlogmas. So here is who I'm watching. The people I've watched every year for years and years are Miss Remy Ashton and Alicia Marie. Those two. Um, those were like the first ones I started looking forward to. But since then, I have also grown to love so many others and even like a little bit more. Not that I don't love Alicia and Remy. I think theirs are great and pretty iconic. But I like watching, I guess, like more normal people. Like they're established lifestyle influencers who have a ton of different, they're like everything is accessible to them. And I like watching more normal people too. So other people I've really been enjoying are Alexandra Rodriguez or Learning to Be Fearless is what she used to be known as. Um, hers is really interesting. Um, I like Laura DIYs. I like uh, Colleen Ballinger. She's not doing like technically doing Vlogmas, but she's been daily vlogging since like Vlogmas of 2019 pretty much. She just kept going and I've been enjoying watching her journey with being a NICU parent and bringing the twins home or bringing currently only one of them is home. but. Um, hers has been really good. A uh, person that I found via Vlogmas and have been obsessed with ever since during Vlogmas 2019 is Samantha Jo. Um, she was Wisconsin based. She is now Florida based, but she traveled back to Wisconsin specifically for Vlogmas, which is just so fun. Other people on this list are Morgan's vlogs or Morgan Adams. I like hers a lot. She's very relatable to me. Um, I don't know why she's just very I feel like she's very genuine and also funny. I'm obsessed with Megan Hughes's vlogmas this year I have not missed a single day. I also really like Lindsay Hughes's vlogmas. Um, she's been doing more intermittent vlogs throughout the month I love them both. I like Megan's content a little bit more, but I think that they're both really lovely people um, Then my favorite youtubers pretty much ever are Sierra Schultz and Carrie Dayton um, they both been doing like the 12 days of vlogmas where they post every other day. Um, and I haven't missed a single one of theirs either. I love them both. I think they're very authentic, lovely people. Carrie follows me on Instagram, which is the biggest flex of my life to this day. I think she's a gem and very just authentic and a breath of fresh air on the internet. Um, both of them really. And then let's see here. I've been watching Kim Ties intermittently. Hers are really long, so I have a hard time sitting through them sometimes. Um, but I enjoy them significantly when I do watch them. And then Allison Floria is one of the fitness marshal uh, backup booties. I adore her. I adore the, all the fitness marshal gang, but she's doing the 12 days of vlogmas the same way I am, but she started a date earlier. So I've been just enjoying the crap out of her videos. They're shorter, which I appreciate. And then while she was doing it, I don't think she's doing it anymore because she had like her house flooded, which is a very good reason to take a break. Um, it was Rachel Ram Rachel's Rambles? Rachel Rambles? Rachel Rambles. So she did the first 14 days and then a couple days ago her house flooded and she took a break. But I really like hers. Um, and then let's see if there's anybody else on here I'm missing. No, I think that's pretty much it. I love Vlogmas. And I'm actually like super thrilled that I got to like be a little part of it. It's been so much fun. I'm gonna go chill for a little longer and I'm going to skate night tonight. Just so you know, um, I'm going to skate night. I'll show you my outfit before I go, but I'm gonna end the video before skate night because I want to finish it before I leave. And um, that's like in a half hour, so I gotta like hustle here. But um, 
I'll include clips from skate night if I get any in tomorrow's video. I just want to be able to be done with it before I go. I'm staying at my boyfriend's tonight. So I want him, I don't want to like have to be editing a ton when I'm at his house. I'd love to just like get it all done before we go. So that's the situation. All right, I didn't change a ton, but here's what I'm wearing to skate. I'm gonna do it this way so that you can see the entire outfit. Um, I got a little uncomfy in the crop top. I, I don't I don't know, I just felt like seen. And it's a black light skating rink, so if I wear that, I'm gonna glow. Um, but here is my outfit. I like skate nights because it gives me an, acute, uh, an excuse to dress a little bit cute, but I have these flares, but they're like big flares. These are from Arizona. They also make my booty look good. So, um, they're from Arizona. I got them at JCPenney and they are super long, so they're perfect for skates. And then the Star Wars top that I thrifted, <clears throat> that I tucked in, um, I got this one in California with Charlie and then the same flannel I was wearing this morning. That all being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've been enjoying uh, my 12 days of Vlogmas. It's been such a blast to do, as I had already mentioned. And I will see you tomorrow for the next video. Take care. I love you lots. Bye.